Hello, my love. So we are going to talk about texting and how to do it in the beginning that doesn't go overboard, doesn't drive him away, and really kind of slowly but surely draws in the right person. So this would be in the beginning stages, and you know the time when I'm talking about this is this is where you're you're wondering, am I gonna do it right? Am I sending too much? Am I sending too many? How long do I wait? Do I play the timing games? Here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna ease your mind right now. So let's say you went on your first date. We're gonna start there. So you go on your first date. How do you text him after that date? Listen, you can text him while he is still sitting in his car on his way to leaving. By the way, you know my rules, no kissing, no sleepovers for three months. That way, guys who are selfish short-term thinkers are going to fall off. Men who are generous long-term thinkers that are interested in you, that are wanting to start something with you, they're not just looking for somebody. It's about you, that's what you want. So, no kissing for three months. Make sure that you're, you're keeping space for the men to come into your life and you're not getting caught up in guys and being in relationships with guys and saying, no, I'm sorry, I'm seeing somebody to the man who can make you happy, which is what we want to avoid altogether. So, you have a great date, he says goodbye. As soon as you get inside, you can send him that first text message and here's what you're going to write. Thank you, like obviously if this is true, thank you, I had such a great time. You are so, you're gonna list two or three qualities about him. And I mean like character qualities, like, like stuff that you noticed about who he is as a human being, because really our number one goal in a relationship is to be understood in every relationship, whether it's a friend or a family member, the best feeling is like somebody sees in you and actually gets you. So you're gonna send him a text, thank you, I had such a great time. You are so, two, three qualities, of who he is as a human being. Thank you for you know anything that he did that evening that was special, for being a gentleman if he was opening doors, for bringing me flowers, for showing me a good time, introducing me to something new. Whatever it is that stood out about that day, let him know he did it right. Let him know he is right, that he is a good person. And that's it, press send. Now from that point on, it's gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you've sent a text message and you haven't heard back and you're wondering if you should send another one, don't do it. Let's just say you convince yourself, I sent a message, he probably didn't get it. Listen, if he is so into you that he cannot imagine not getting to know you, he will reach out, he will make sure he maintains contact and that you are not slipping away through his fingers, okay? Now, another rule to remember is men don't use the same amount of words that we do, so do not get really wordy in your exchanges. If you're wondering how much to write him, follow his tone. So, you know, if he writes you like a lot of details about his day, feel free to write a lot of details about your day if you want to do that. This is all up to you, by the way. You do not need to be coerced into anything that you don't want to do. Don't allow yourself to be pressured beyond your comfort zones. But if you're wondering how far to go, how much to write, match him. If you're wondering what kind of tone to have, match him, be reciprocal. Don't go overboard, so don't get all like, you were so amazing, you're the best person I've ever gone out with and I see forever in your eyes, he is going to, you're gonna see the little dust cloud behind his heels as he runs away. You don't wanna overwhelm any male, even if it's a guy, <laughs> just don't do it. Uh, another rule to remember is make your text something that is going to make him smile. By the way, I'm looking at my book, No More Assholes. Um, so make your text something that makes him smile. So if, if you're gonna send him something, like, like you know, say the last text he sent you was, wasn't something that necessarily needed a response to, and you're waiting for, you know, something to say, and you have a memory, and you find yourself smiling, then I want you to send him a text saying, I'm just sitting here thinking about fill in the blank and smiling to myself. 
or if you see something that reminds you something that you talked about or there's a meme or, you know take a picture and send it to him or send him that meme and go oh my god this so made me think of you or this exchange that we had whatever it was so what you want to do is you want to make him smile because what that does is it makes the lines beside his eyes crinkle up those muscles send a signal to his brain that he's enjoying something his brain will in response release a dose of dopamine dopamine is the same chemical that your brain releases when people snort cocaine and we all know how addicting cocaine is don't you want him to get addicted to you yes especially if he's a great man for sure you want that to happen so make those smiles happen release that dopamine give him that good feeling that he's going to associate to you which is where the magic really starts setting in and you want that magic uh, don't demand to be entertained and don't just entertain him either like if he's sending you a lot of questions don't be that person that's responding to them over text. Say, you know what, when we get together, those are great questions for us to, to talk about then. So don't be a time filler and don't demand that he fill your time. Keep your questions for when you're having your face-to-face -face interactions. It's gonna be so much more meaningful then too. And don't accept last minute invitations what you want is for somebody to plan ahead with you because the more somebody thinks about you the more they're carving a channel inside their brain with your name on it and you want that when you finally have a first kiss with somebody you want it to be with somebody who has really tucked you inside their mind and given you space inside their head so I hope you're enjoying this advice. I want you to go check out my website, canadasdatingcoach.com or lovemaker.love. I have a lot of free advice on there as well as on YouTube and on iTunes. And you can also find me and chat with me on Twitter and Instagram and of course, Facebook. And I've got a ton of books that are out there. I want you to go on Amazon because wherever you are, even if you're a mama or a papa who wants to make sure that your teenager doesn't make the same mistakes you do, you can find a book for them as well. So wherever you are in your relationship state, in your emotional state, and you want to lift up from there, I got you. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. There's nothing more than I like than knowing how to make you happy. So I'm going to talk to you guys soon. So much love. Bye.